On behalf of the Welsh Conservatives, Paul Davis to ask leaders' questions. First Minister, the latest NHS figures show that Wales's health services are struggling with A&E waiting times and ambulance response times recently recorded at their worst ever levels. The Vice President of the Royal College of Emergency Medicine Wales, Dr Suresh Pillai, has said that 709 patients in Wales in 2021 alone have died as a direct result of crowding and long stays. He also said that these deaths were preventable and that the government, boards and NHS leaders must understand and act now to ensure that the current crisis does not deepen and lead to more avoidable excess deaths. First Minister, do you agree with Dr Pillai's comments that these deaths were preventable? No, I don't uh, in that simplistic uh, way, uh, Llywydd. Uh, the member, of course, is right that the NHS in Wales is struggling under the demands that it is currently having to address, and that is about to get worse and more difficult because of the new variant that has already arrived in the United Kingdom. The Health Service is dealing with the impact of a global pandemic, with the delays in treatment that that has inevitably uh, created. It is dealing with all the everyday things that we expect it to do, delivering the flu vaccination programme in primary care, for example, and at the same time, it is responding to record levels of demand through the emergency system and through uh, A and E departments. Uh, I think it is very important, and in this way, I have agreed in the past with advice from the College of Emergency Medicine uh, that that has to be seen as a problem, not just at the front door at the hospital, but for the hospital as a whole, and that the whole system has to find a way of responding to the very many pressures that the service is currently under. Uh, I think it is a, a very sobering truth, uh, Llywydd, that these problems are about to get even more challenging over the coming weeks as we try and respond to the latest twist and turn in the very challenging story of coronavirus. Well, First Minister, the reality is that action needs to be taken, and taken very quickly. As we move into winter, there will be further pressures on our NHS services, and with news that there is a new COVID variant in the UK, it's crucial now that the Welsh Government has a plan to ensure that waiting times are addressed and preventable deaths aren't taking place. The latest statistics show that the average time spent in emergency departments was three hours and seven minutes which is a new record high, and they also show that ambulance performance against the eight-minute response target was the lowest on record at 50%, which was down from 52.3% in the previous month. Dr Pillai has warned that not only does bed capacity need to be addressed, there's also a shortfall of staff of, of around 100 emergency medicine consultants, along with vital emergency medicine nurses, junior and other supporting staff. So, First Minister, will you now commit to restoring bed capacity back to pre-pandemic levels, and will you also commit to publishing a long-term workforce plan that recruits staff and also retains them as well? Well, so with more people work in the Welsh NHS today than at any other time in its history, and that includes more doctors, more nurses, more physiotherapists, more occupational therapists, and all the team that go into providing services for the Welsh public. Uh, that is the result of continued investment by successive Welsh governments in our NHS and in its workforce. There are record numbers of people, not simply employed, but in training as well. More nurses in training, more professions allied to medicine in training than at any time in our history. We publish those uh, plans every single year and they demonstrate the result uh, of that investment. Uh, there have been more beds available during the uh, COVID crisis as a result of the field hospital capacity and the other additional capacity uh, that we have uh, made available through considerable extra investment and enormous efforts by people who work in the service 
to make that physical capacity available and then to find people to provide the services alongside it. Uh, when the pandemic is over and we are able to return to the levels of activity that we were able to see in the Welsh NHS prior to its onset, then of course we will need to make sure that we have the physical capacity to go alongside the additional members of staff that we will have recruited in the meantime.